What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Unfazed and Unbothered. On this week's episode, we're going to, you know, talk about things that I keep getting told in my messages on Instagram to talk about. And Cam has some hilarious stories to share as well. So we were like, you know what? Let's just let's just go for it. So a lot of people say, why don't you talk more about your prison experience? And to be honest, I feel like I talk about it so much. So like, I don't want to keep talking about it. No, but you need to tell the funny little stories that happened to you in there. Yeah, because I feel like if I was to share them on TikTok, the video would get deleted. Probably. So we're just going to dive in. Do you want to start first? Um, See, mine are not as (laughs) exciting as yours because, see, I didn't do the time like Tasia did. I went to jail twice. And I both times spent a matter of, like, one time I spent, like, six hours in Barrow County, and then the other time I spent, um, I think, a whole 23 hours in Gwinnett. So I didn't really do time, but there were things that happened. But let's let's give them the juice first. Let's start off with Miss Tasty T over here. First of all, I want to start off with saying, okay, I went to jail, like, eight different times, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So there was a wild. There was a yeah. There was only one time that I got bonded out within the day. The rest Mm. of them, honey, I had to you know I had to eat the meals and you know do the I had to do the whole experience. But anyway, so when I was sentenced to prison, that was the first time I went to prison. So I had only done jail time, so I didn't know what to expect. So I was waiting in county jail for three weeks. So I basically, I was out on bond. I went to court and they were like, lock this stupid bitch up. She's going away. So they locked me up and I spent three weeks in the county jail waiting for the prison to come and get me and other people or whatever. So I had no idea what to expect. You know, you hear stories that other inmates tell you, but I'm just like, okay, well, probably you're probably lying. I never trusted anybody. I was like, y'all are fucking out to get me. I don't trust you. So I go to prison and I'm like, holy mother fuck. These bitches were not lying. First of all, <laughs> diagnostics looks like a concentration camp that like I saw in books and like on movies of like the boy in the striped pajamas and all that. I'm not fucking kidding. It looked like a concentration camp. That's not funny. And so when I got there, I was like so scared because they dress you out. The officers like try to scare you and it, It just wasn't working for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, period. Laughing my ass off. Um, So they they give you a uniform. You dress out. Because when you go to prison, you go in your regular clothes. Like whatever Mm -hmm. you came to jail in, the jail gives you back your regular clothes. And then you dress in. They dress you in your fantastic prison Versace clothes when you get there. So I had the 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 knockoff Crocs going on, the orange looking like a pumpkin. And it's like a brown... um, jumpsuit but it has like a shirt and pants and they want to give you like three sizes too big because they don't want you to show off off that body girl exactly and i was you know looking like a goddamn beauty queen out here so (laughs) i could understand it (laughs) so anyway so i get in there and i see like all these bunk beds half of them don't have mats so i'm like great um i get to sleep on a rock i'm very excited and everybody was just like looking around and and nobody was as shocked as me and i'm just like okay i don't know where y'all live but what the (laughs) fuck um so it was really dirty it smelled really disgustingly dirty Mm. Uh, oh my gosh anyway so i get there um some people didn't have mats so they were literally sleeping on they were sleeping on the bunk i'm (gasps) dead ass serious so for people like oh they, they can't do that they can't do that you can they don't they can do whatever the fuck they want Oh my God! Who's gonna, that's who's gonna help up. you? Who's gonna help you? Gonna call mom and dad? Yeah, they didn't give me a mat. Bring they, me a blow up, please. Yeah, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Um, so yeah, it was so overpopulated that they didn't even have enough mats for everybody. Oh, that's so fucked. Yeah, so some people didn't have mats. Me, God was looking out for homegirl, and I had mm. a mat. Um, stuffing was coming out. You know what I'm saying? It looked very dirty. The stuffing had black shit in it. Ugh. But I loved it. I was excited. So. <laughs> 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 comfortable living so anyways i get in there and i'm like okay I, i'm gonna have to get used to this whatever 
The only thing I brought from the county jail that they let me keep was my Bible that I won. And that was a godsend because, okay, I was you in- You won the, it? I won what it were in jail. Were y'all doing fair games in there? No, but this lady was coming to the jail that worked at a church and she was like, it was like Bible study. So like the, the guard would be like, Bible study, whoever wants Bible study, come on out. So you only, you're literally <laughs> locked down 23 hours. So bitch, you're going to come out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So I came out. And we're all like having like, you know, Bible study. And she was like, whoever wants to win um, this Bible, like we're going to do a drawing. And of course I won it. And then I ended up winning. um, It was like an old beaten down one, but like I loved it. Okay, and then I ended up winning winning a newer one a couple weeks later. So, not anyways, the passed down Bible. It was, yeah, no. It, but I'm <laughs> saying it was a blessing in there. Like I was reading a girl. I was reading a girl. So, anyways, but then a couple weeks later, I ended up winning a brand new one. So I was like, "Thank you, Jesus!" <laughs> yes. Wait, didn't you bring that tablet with you too, though? The tablet, um, I got in prison. Yeah. But I brought her home. Yeah. I sure did. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but like in prison, I didn't get that until I was in prison. Okay, okay. But the Bible, I got to bring. I still have the Bible. She's over there saying, hey, girl. <laughs> I love her so much. I'll keep her forever. Thank you. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's where my Jesus calling my faith to faith came from, too. I will never oh, not her. use those. <laughs> I mean, look how cute they look over there underneath my TV. We came a long way, sisters. Love y'all. Um, so anyways, with that being said... I was genuinely confused because I get there, everybody's eating, and they're like, you don't want to go eat? I'm like, fuck, no, I don't want to eat. What were they eating? Like, ugh, fake bologna sandwiches and shit. Oh, hell no. They were so, these bitches, we were like, when, as we were getting booked into the prison, they were like, hurry up, we got to get the lunch, we got to get the lunch. And I'm like, you motherfuckers, like, y'all are doing too damn much. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, ew. Yeah, what the fuck? So they went to eat, I didn't. I mean, I literally lost. In diagnostics, I lost... 25 pounds and I was only in diagnostics for three weeks because I oh my god I wasn't eating meat and that's what they had and so the only thing I would eat on the tray would be like vegetables and I wouldn't eat bread so when I tell you I was starving out here I meant it um but even like people that like so in diagnostics the people that are feeding you food they steal it for themselves uh- so fucking bitches and the guards don't give a fuck so literally people everybody was losing weight no matter what um it was crazy so um and you some people like not me going to fucking prison some people would literally fucking like steal trays from people and shit and there's nothing you can do guards would be looking right at them like you fucking fat bitch give me my food back yeah and then like i've never seen like people beg for food they would get like their instead of okay when you go to pill call you're supposed to take your pills and lift up your tongue in front of the officers uh-huh. we're fucking criminals you know what i'm saying we can obviously pretend to swallow a pill and hide it in our mouth where the officer's not going to see so right. people would do that they would take their crazy meds up to the damn food hall the food where everybody ate and, and, swap and, tr- them out, trade. and trade in their pills for food that's sad they look like vultures that's so sad. <laughs> we called this one girl vulture. Me and my this girl that I was that I came to the jail with because it was embarrassing. Like she would eat like five trays from other people and then be like, "Can I get some bread?" Like it's just like, <laughs> and I fucking girl, ate like slow down. I fucking ate like vegetables every day for a week, already looking like damn a skeleton. You know what I'm saying? And I and you don't <laughs> and you don't see me acting like that. But period, Holy queen. Shit. She was hungry. She was hungry. <clears throat> hungry, so, hungry hippo. <laughs> so, anyways, with that being said, um, okay, that that was like how the food shit was in diagnostics. But anyways, like the first day I got there, everybody comes back from eating. I was just sitting there chilling, taking it all in. And all of a sudden, I start seeing bitches like snorting shit in the bathrooms, <gasps> lighting up fucking like rolled up cigarettes and shit. What? Um, people getting high and like they they were Ow. they were. I don't fuck. They just get it in there. And there oh was goodness. there was this drug going around called K two, and a lot of people know what it is on the streets because it's like what they're calling spice now. Ew! 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 So people were smoking that shit and acting crazy. They'd be normal, and then you'd start seeing them hit the little blunt thing that they made, and they'd start wigging the fuck out and shit. Oh, my God. Some people would, like, start fighting people. They'd, like, black out. And I'm like, I don't even know why y'all want to do this because y'all are acting crazy. 
I've heard horror stories from fucking Spice. Like that shit's Dude, insane. it's bad. I've literally seen people like they they just black out. They will hit it one time and they just fall. Like I mean oh it's goodness. it fries your brain. Like I don't know why ew, it's fucking horrible. Um but anyway, so I stayed in diagnostics for three weeks, but also like I so when you get there, you can't make phone calls. The only thing you can do is write letters to your family. So I would I didn't talk to anybody for three weeks. I mean, I got letters, but like it would take a week and to get back and forth. Um and then they finally moved me into like a uh it was like a nonviolent drug program because which is what everybody kept talking about when I was in the county jail and when I was in prison. They're like, just pray you get this program. Um, it's hard to get, but like if you get it, you get out earlier. And I'm like, okay, period. Oh, period. I'm getting that. So, but the thing was, is like, I was so not, I guess I was kind of negative. I was like, I'm not expecting anything good. I'm just going to go for it. Well, you're already in fucking prison. So, yeah. Um, because before I went to prison, my family kept saying, you know, it's only a two year sentence, so you'll do six months. And I'm like, I don't know where y'all are hearing this from, but you have to at least do a third of your time. Um, you have to do no matter what. You can get out, yeah, you can get out early at a third of your time, but you cannot get out any earlier than that. Legally, you can't. So when I went to prison or whatever, I just expected the worst of everything, but it just turns out that so much good happened. So when I went to that program, I only had to do eight months off a two year sentence. That was the last time you went, right? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, but diagnostics was fucking crazy. The craziest experience that happened, because di- that's the worst part of prison is diagnostics, literally, because you can't get a store, you can't do nothing. Um, you're like being micromanaged by like blood work and doing tests and police officers monitoring you because they want to do all these tests to see like, do you have STDs? How smart are you? What's your IQ level? It's fucking crazy and weird. But, like, I was asleep, and it was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. And, <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't asleep. I was awake because I had been, like, talking to people and shit because you or whatever. So I'm, like, sitting on my bunk just, like, chilling. And all of a sudden, I start h- hearing banging noises on the fucking – because, like, everybody has their own little rooms, you know? Mm-hmm. But they had these glass windows in front of every room. You have no door to lock you in there. These bitches, there's like 20 of them, I swear to gosh. 20 to 30 of these bitches were banging. They were like, I didn't get no sleep last night, so nobody's going to be sleeping. Wake the fuck up, you stupid bitches. And they were like banging on the fucking windows and shit. All of them naked. Not a, not a panty, Wait, not so a bra. you could see through the, to the other rooms? Oh, yeah. It was glass windows, so you could see through. So you're just like in a cube of just glass in a cube. walls. No, it was, no, 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 no. You can just see out one way. Okay, so you could see across from you. Across from me. And so all the bitches on the other side were butt-ass naked. They were in the hallway naked. <gasps> they came out of their rooms butt How do you get naked. out of your room? Are you not locked up? Absolutely not. This is prison, honey. This is free-for-all. So you for can all. just come and go Yeah, this please? is free-for-all. Mm-hmm. It sure is. What? Yeah, you're locked in your you're locked in this dorm. The dorm is huge. No, and I, no, you're really not locked out. You can go out if you wanted to. At any time of the day. At right? any time. But you'll get in trouble. You'll get a lockdown. It's kind of like it's tempting you. Like, you can go outside if you want to. But we're going to lock your ass down if you do. What is lockdown? You'll be like... Isolation by yourself. Oh, fuck no. Yeah. Wait, that's so fucked. So there's like times that they'll allow everyone to come out? Uh-huh. They'll tell you like when you go to... Well, you know, just if it's time to eat, morning, breakfast, lunch. And if you want to go outside, you can go outside. Whenever. No. When they tell you to. Oh, my God. Yeah. So these bitches were like banging on the fucking glass windows, all butt ass naked. Not one of them had a bra on. Not one of them had panties on. Bushes. Full pussy, full titties. Everywhere. I'm, I'm telling you, it's shit I did not want to see. Like the nothing was cute about it. You get what I'm saying? Oh my nothing God. Nothing was cute about it. I'm telling you, like I've never seen boobs sag so low. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and the, I just imagine these bitches' titties just bouncing all around. I thought I was. In a, no I sleep. thought I was in a movie though. Like so, there was like thirty people. There was like let's see, fifteen in the middle of the hallway, and then there was like other the other um, people were like down on the right side of the hallway and down on the left, hiding the cameras with their t shirts. My <gasps> thing is, bitch, is they've already seen your naked ass body and your fucking big ass face going to the camera. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, so they're like covering it up and then fucking banging on shit. And were like were the, the police not coming immediately? 
No, because they the only the only time that the cops are in the dorm with you is when they come to count you, and then they just go out and do whatever they want to do, and then they'll come back like hours later. So there's plenty of free time to get your ass beat, get raped, killed. Assault, oh all my these god! Yeah, so free for all, bye bitches. Y'all shouldn't have came to prison. And I'm dead ass serious. The cops will tell you that you shouldn't have come to prison. We're not here to protect you. We're here to fucking count you and leave. They don't give a fuck. So, oh my god! <laughs> so these bitches were doing all this, and I'm like, holy! Sh- it's two o'clock in the morning. People were waking up going, fuck you, shut the fuck up. And she was like, I'll drag your ass off the fucking bed. Think I'm playing. They did. They literally, they were ready to fight. It was like wartime. Oh. So, you know what I did? I just went out in the hallway and started laughing. I thought this shit was so fucking funny. I thought it was so funny. Everybody else was coming out. Some people were laughing. Some people were pissed. And then my roommates were getting pissed because I was laughing. But it was so funny. How could you not laugh? I've never seen nothing like this. Do you see this bitch's titties right now? <laughs> Do they, do your titties hang low? Do they wobble to the floor? Do they shine in the light? Like, pop the fuck I'm off. fucking screaming, It's a bitch. confidence for me, honey. It was Ooh. a confidence. And her name was uh, Juicy. What, the girls where her, where her boobs were hanging low, her name was Juicy. And she was oh, okay. a very big girl. She was very <laughs> juicy. <laughs> oh, my So they God. did this for like 30 minutes. And the reason what? why they did it because... The night before, they were mad that people were being loud and they were sleeping. So they had like, they woke up the next day and they were like, wartime. Wait, so you're telling me that there was like 20 people who also all collectively didn't get enough sleep. No, they all thought, hey, let's just get butt ass naked and no, they were in a game. So if one person, (gasps) it happened to one or two people, they were like, they swear up, bitches, get ready. Yeah, so they did it just to be an asshole. That's fucking crazy. Um, hilarious. It's like, fucking hilarious. I I remember writing to my parents and saying, "You won't believe this." I woke got woke up. I saw my thirty naked bitches. <laughs> could you? <laughs> could you imagine my parents reading this letter? They're like, "What is happening what to is my daughter?" Happening? Yeah, I remember getting the first letter. Are you okay? Are you alive? <laughs> oh yes, mom. I just saw titties and pussy. I'm yeah, okay. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. I I I'm telling you. And then I like you'd wake up. <laughs> And when the officers leave their office, they lock up, but you can see like food and stuff Mm -hmm. and diagnostics. Everybody's so hungry. So all day, these bitches would be plotting on how to break into the office and they would do it. They would do it every day and they would steal their food. And the officers would come back and be like, somebody stole my food. Nobody gave a fuck, queen. You shouldn't have left. You shouldn't have left. Oh, I thought you didn't care. I thought you were here to protect us. You said you shouldn't came to prison, bitch. You shouldn't have put your food there. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> fucking a mirage over here. I'm over here like, <gasps> donuts. What, bitch? No, these bitches are hungry. Feed them. Yeah, we're fucking, cri- they're, they're criminals. That's fucked up. Okay, that's, um, just because people are in prison does not mean that they are deserving of less fucking food and, and, and shelter and a bed. Like, that's so fucked, honestly. It is, really it is. It. But the thing is, is like, I when I went to prison and saw how people acted, I could understand why officers treated us like they did and why they didn't give a fuck. Because there's only, for example, there's only a f- people in there. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of people who mind, but majority of the people in there, they don't care. They'll well, yeah, spit they're at already, officers. They're already in prison. They'll, when they're doing count time, they're flicking the officers off. They're saying fuck, they don't care. And so if you don't want to act like you're fucking human, then the officers are not going to treat you like that. And they'll tell you that, too. And so that's why they fucking are so rude because that's what they deal with every day. Yeah, but then that's shitty for the ones who are minding their business. Oh, like, yeah. But they're like, oh, I don't give a fuck because a hun- there's five out of 100 people who mind. Fuck all y'all. You know? Mm, it's damn. Bad. Yeah, it's, it's it's really crazy. But it'll make you not want to go back to prison. I got the full prison experience, though. And I got funny ass stories to tell. But do I want to go back? You got me fucked up. Yeah, no. But on that Please note, don't. we need to take a little break and break. Oh, yeah, girl. BRB. Okay, Queens, we're back. We're back, bitches. So enough of the funny stuff of prison. I'm going to explain the not so funny stuff because I definitely don't want it to seem like, oh, it was always like that in prison because it was definitely not. Oh, yeah. We need to hear some juicy drama. Yeah. You definitely like it was there was some things that were funny and then other things it was just like not. And prison honestly is miserable. It's like the most miserable time ever. Like it really is. Um the one thing that happened there that I was really blessed that like I finally got moved to a different dorm. Um, this girl that I knew and that I was in diagnostics with, she was doing tattoos. And I'm very thankful I didn't get a tattoo in prison because I almost did. I wanted to get like a little small something. And I'm glad I did not. 
Oh my God, that's how you spread HIV. And so God was like, no, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. So I didn't end up getting a tattoo from this girl. But um, anyways, I'm out of breath because I'm so fucking pregnant. <laughs> so I got moved to a different dorm. And then I heard that this, the girl that was doing tattoos, she had been jumped and she was like in fatal condition. Oh my God, why did she get jumped? So the girls that were doing all that naked, crazy shit, uh -huh. a few of the girls that were in that little gang group or whatever, um, they just wanted to rob her just to do it. So they robbed all her, you know, tattoo guns and all her ink and all her shit. And they're like, if you want it back, you got to pay us $50. And she was like, I'm not paying you to get my shit back. You're going to give me my shit back. Well, they ended up jumping her. They poured like period blood on her. Ew, they, uh, what? They, they peed on her. Yeah. <gasps> they, they literally like jumped on her head and her head was like swollen. Like you couldn't even like tell who she was really. And the cops that were or the guards that were um, away at the time, oh my God. when they saw it, obviously they it were- too late. Yeah. And so I think that that was an experience in itself because they're like, we're not here to protect you. But when they saw something like that, they were like, what the fuck? Um, and the girl was like trying to, she was like getting up on her bunk and like trying to hide from these people. And they were like literally climbing up on her bunk, pulling her by her feet, taking her clothes off. Like it was like, Something it was it was just disgusting, like that people could do this. And mind you, the people that were in there doing this were in there for minor charges. And so when the girl ended up dying, they had to like she died. The girl ended up dying, yeah. So when oh. <clears throat> when all that happened, they had to bring all of those girls that had done it. They brought them to the county jail in that county, and they got charged with murder. Yeah. So they might think about it. They're getting out in a year, and then they do that, and oh, now they're, they're in there for twenty more yeah. years. And the youngest one of the group was eighteen, and she had lupus. Oh fuck! She's so, gonna die in jail. So yeah, and so she, it was just like, what the fuck? But these people were nasty people. They were very nasty people. Um, obviously, they jumped a, a girl and killed her. That's like so even fucked. even before that, they just yeah, it, it's bad. Um, <clears throat> Euthanize those bitches, honestly. Yeah. So that was an experience in itself. Um, and it's just disgusting. But I was lucky that they moved me out because I don't think that there's a lot of people that saw that, that I had talked to. And they're like, you, I can't even explain it. So That's like, traumatizing. Yeah, it was disgusting. So you didn't see that with your eyes? Uh-uh. Thank God, dude. No. I would have been fucking sick to this day. Yeah, I know. But like the guards had explained to us like what happened. And then like my friend um, that was still over there. She was like, you won't fucking believe. She was telling me everything. And I was like, I'm so glad that I did not see that because that's fucking just dis disgusting. Um, Rest in peace, her soul, girl. She was just trying to get her tattoo on. I know. And she was getting out within like a few months. Oh, she wasn't my even be God. There that see, at that point, I mean, I hate that happened, but I would have been like, here, take my shit. It's not even worth it. I know. But in prison, everybody tries to prove a point. That's how I am. I'm like, girl, I don't even give a fuck. You want this? You want this ramen noodle? You can have it. You want this bag of shit? You can fucking have it. Just leave me the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that would have been me. I'm like, girl, take it. I don't want no smoke. The shit people care about so much in there. Like, I'm serious. You borrow a 20-cent bag of ramen noodles. Because in prison, everything's a lot cheaper because you get it in bundles and shit. And they'll fight you over that. But you can just have it, queen. You can just have it. It is not that serious. But, like, you see grown women getting mad over this shit. And, like, I was, like, one of the youngest people there. Um, in my dorm, I was, and like these women were like in their fifties getting mad at this. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like, I remember calling home to my parents being like, y'all raised me so good. I know I'm in prison and everything, but y'all really did. Cause I don't act like these motherfuckers in here. Oh my goodness. Like these bitches are fucking crazy as hell. Were you scared at any point? I don't think so. Cause I was highly medicated. Okay. That affects her. Have me right girl. No one tried you up. Um, I, I think I got into like a screaming match with this girl. We got nose to nose, but we didn't fight. We didn't fight. We were just yelling. We were just yelling at each other. That was a good thing for me being on that effects her. It made me feel like, let me think. Amazing. It did. And I just never feared nothing. I don't know how to explain it. Like, <laughs> so, like it just not made me not give a fuck, but like. Yeah, like when people would say something to me, I would get like really heated and mad and shit like that. But really, I'm not even mad. I'm just like. I don't know. Okay, fuck it. Yeah. 
But yeah, I got nose to nose with this girl in my dorm. But then she apologized to me. She felt bad. She was like, this beauty queen of a of a girl. Let me go apologize. This goddess. I'm yeah, so this sorry. goddess. I'm so sorry. And God bless you. And I was like, you know what? Thank you and God bless you, honey. You know what I'm saying? You, you know can have all my ramen noodles. Because you know girl. I would have whooped that fucking ass. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't think I've ever been to a fight, though, for real. So I don't even ever know. Ever in, in life at all? No. Uh-uh. Okay. I'm, okay. Too, do I, I'm too fucking gosh damn beautiful for that. I mean, you're kidding. feisty, though. I know. I feel like people are like you. So you don't know if you can fight. No, I don't. I mean, we can go at it right now if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I've never been in a fight. I just pop off. Like I'll pop off. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But See, that's okay. Me. I've never in my adult life never been in a physical fight. I got in a physical fight when I was in fourth grade, but did that even count? No. Um, did you whoop their ass? So, okay. Because it definitely was... counts, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, where do I start? Okay, so there was this group of boys who fucked with me all the time. You know, I'm, I was like in third or fourth grade. I think it was fourth grade. You know, I was just a little, a little, a little young fag. And it was very apparent, obviously. But everyone liked to fuck with me. There was this one boy. I would see him in the hallways. I would see him in the bathroom. And he'd always be like, call me. But it was like obvious that he was like, Making fun of me, you I know. Said, that would have recorded his ass guys doing that and made like a little girl. I didn't have a phone back then. Call me and posted it everywhere. We were in fourth grade. Oh, okay. Um, but <laughs> I mean, I did have a phone, but didn't have a camera. But anyways, that happened, and like he just bothered me all the time. And then it was, um, we were, I think it was PE or something, and we had to go to this field. So mind you, this field is like way on top of this like hill top, like very high up. And it was me, I remember my friend, Christopher, and I don't remember my other friend's name. And these boys, this group of boys kept fucking with me, especially the one that kept being like, call me. And my friends were like, we'll, we'll, we got your back, blah, say, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. So this boy comes up from behind me and like trips me from behind. I didn't even see him coming. And I fall on the floor. And then he gets on top of me. And then I roll over and get on top of him and I'm punching him in the face. And then he rolls over and punches me in the face. And then I ended up like, we were on the edge of the hill and I like pushed him and he went rolling, tumbling down the fucking hill. They all got in trouble. I didn't. So you won. I guess. Yeah, but so like I, I got punched and he got it, punched. It counts. But he went rolling down the hill. It counts. What's his name? I don't fucking remember. But that bitch also. Unknown. He, you lost. Kimba won. <laughs> Thank you. and God bless. <laughs> he fucking didn't get to participate in field day though. <laughs> he was pissed. He was pissed about it. Yeah, and I was mad like, about it. And girl, I, listen, I will always play the dumb card. I was like, I didn't do anything. Like he just attacked me. Yeah, like what? Yeah. Girl, you always play dumb and you always fucking cry. Bitches will feel bad. You know what? That reminds me of this. Can make me sound really wrong, but when I was in fourth grade, this girl named Adida. Adida? No, her name was Adida, like Adidas, but oh. no S. Her name was Adida. She had like a sprained ankle, and she was going around in this wheelchair. But she was always mean to me and bullied me. Uh huh. So one day, I don't know what had happened was, but the teacher wanted me to roll her, and when we went to recess, and I flipped that bitch out the fucking <gasps> wheelchair and act like I tripped on a rock. Tasia. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> they. I mean, it makes me sound bad, but like, okay. Well, like, she wasn't technically like. Yeah, she wasn't disabled. Yeah, exactly. Or anything. She just had she a sprained ankle. She could have karma, bitch. She could have got up on that other leg, but she didn't. It's not my fucking fault. And that rock just threw me over, so I just dumped the bitch out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, the teacher ended up calling my mom, and I explained to mom, like, mom, she's, she's a fucking cunt bitch. She it was an me accident. Day. I didn't mean to it with the rock, did it? Yeah, my mom was like, Tasia, ain't no fucking rock do that shit, you dumb bitch. I was like, I'm telling you, that fucking rock, it was huge. It's just, you know, like Mount Everest out here. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, she, she, that girl, she didn't bother me for the rest of the year. She didn't. Oh, as she shouldn't. Yeah, she's lucky I didn't give her she another. She knew her place. She's lucky I didn't give her another sprained ankle, but we ain't gonna go that far. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, anyways. So maybe, did I, I won. Well, no, that's not fair. She, she had a sprained ankle. Oh, well, fuck you, I Anita. mean, but fuck them. Oh, my God. Wait. I remember, so random, but just thinking about elementary school, there was this girl, okay, and I don't remember her name, but me and her, like, it was like unspoken beef. Like, we just saw each other, and we hated each other. Like, right. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you why. She would call me names, and I, for some reason, used to call her, sound so fucked up. I used to call her Chubby Cheese. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but I used to remember like Chubby Cheese. I, and now look at me. But um, <laughs> one day this bitch had enough of my bullshit and she came and got a 
one of the milk cartons and dumped it all over me. And it was all in my backpack, all over my Franklin lunchbox. I was pissed. I was highly pissed. Not the Franklin lunchbox. Bitch, yes, Franklin. That was my fucking... Bro, Franklin? Do y'all remember Franklin? You remember Franklin? Uh Uh-uh. The turtle. Oh, yeah. Girl. Vaguely. That was my homeboy. Um, Chubby Cheese, if you're listening, I'm so sorry. You fucked up my favorite jacket, too. I do remember that. Um, Yeah. How dare her? You should you, say you're not sorry. I'm not fucking sorry. Yeah, Bitch, you deserved it. <laughs> well, wait, I I'm the one who got attacked. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, but okay, back to fighting. I this sounds so fucked, but part of me wants to get in a physical altercation. I'd rather not because I have been in way too much legal trouble. I would never hit somebody but you know people be trying my life left and right Period. and i'm waiting for the day that one of them touches me the and problem, it's lights out baby. the problem with today's world and back in the day is back in the day you used to be able to like fight about it now people are like nine one one. i just beat the fuck up bitch you fucking deserved it right. like, bitches want to call the police on everybody i would I, I would only ever self-defend defend myself so like i would never go out of my way to like get physical with somebody, but I'm kind of hoping that somebody puts their hands on me in at least in one point in my life so I can just take all this pent up frustration and beat the fuck out of them. Right. And I just I just I can see it in my head. Like I can see the whole scene and me just fucking them up. And like that is on my bucket list. Maybe that sounds fucked up and toxic, but it like, is what it is, hun. It is but what it is. But a lot of you bitches be trying me, and I would just love <laughs> one of you to try me a little too much because you're gonna fucking summon something that can't be tamed. Thank you so much. But um, back to the prison and jail. That's what we were talking about. So I went to jail twice. Right. I no, didn't do my time. I ain't got the street cred. But. Um, the first time I went to jail for just a misdemeanor amount of weed, so stupid. And actually, me and my brother got arrested. Um, sorry, TT. Um, <laughs> but we were in the jail cell, and they offered us food. And I was like, fuck that. I'm not eating that shit. And I was just so, like, I was a little hard ass at that point. I thought I was, like, hot shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm in jail. Fuck you, bitches. And, <laughs> and like I was like 18 and they were like have you taken any um, mind altering drugs I said yeah Molly and like, I was like <laughs> who the fuck was I was in like an odd future hoodie and like I looked so blazed when I fucking walked in there and anyway so they offered my brother food and me and I'm like fuck that I don't want none of that food my brother took the food and then it made him sick and he was like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. He kept asking them to go to the bathroom, and they wouldn't let him go to the bathroom. And then he was like, I'm going to throw up. And he, like, stood up and was like, "Where? where's the bathroom? And they're like, sit down, sit down, bitch. And, like, they were being so, like, mean to him. And my brother ended up projectile vomiting all over the floor. And As they were pissed. Have. They were pissed. Yeah. And they started cussing him out. And I was like, well, you bitches should have let him go to the bathroom. Blah, 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 blah. And they were like. Get out of bitch! And like, <laughs> <laughs> they did not care. They were so rude to us. But um, that was that encounter. But the second time I went to jail, I got arrested for shoplifting. <laughs> Those days are long behind me. Um, but I got me and my boyfriend. Funny how both times I got arrested, I brought somebody down with me. But in my defense, in that instance, he gave us away. So he's really the reason we fucking got arrested. But um. We both went to jail, and, you know, I'm very feminine. Some people mistaken me for a female. And so I'm in the I'm in Gwinnett County. I got my picture taken, and then we were sitting on the bench together, and there was, like, a glass wall behind us where the cops could see us. We were waiting to be, like, processed into the, like, you know, the... Oh, I've been there multiple times. I know exactly okay, what Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was sitting there, and he, like, I was... We had been dating for, like, two months, and I was so... Like, in my head, all I was thinking was, like, oh, my God, he's going to break up with me because I just got us arrested. Oh, my God, our cute relationship is over. And he, like, grabbed me and, like, kissed my forehead. And he was, like, it's okay. We're in this together. And, like, it was, like, a movie Romantic. Scene. It was very cute and gorgeous. And then the <laughs> cops started being, none of that, none of that. And then this, like, woman cop comes out, and she saw me sitting on the same bench as him. 
you know, the women are across the uh, other side and the men are over here. Yeah. And she was like, oh, baby, you need to go over here. This this is the men's. So you need to go over there. And I was like, hey. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, was like, <laughs> it was funny. And then when they took us back to go into, like, the cells where the phones are at and everything, there was these two scary guys and they were like, bring that one over here. Bring that one over here. And I was like, please don't bring this one over there, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God they didn't. They put me in another room. And ironically, so we were like, there was this like, he looked so sweet and innocent. He was this Asian boy. He was so cute. And I was like, what are you in here for? And he was like, oh, I was stealing Adderall from my pharmacy. I was like, Sheesh, you dumbass. The balls. You dumbass. He was like, my family's so disappointed. And I was like. As they should be, queen. <laughs> I was like, that's a felony. Yeah. Every, every one that you took, that's a felony. And um, fast forward to like a few years later, actually, like two years later, I was, I applied at a job for Chipotle and he was actually in the group um, interview as well. And I was like, hey, hey. I you don't want us to throw Adderall. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you on the other side. <laughs> and so that was, that was that. But um, we were like in the holding cell for like almost a whole day. Like it was like 23 hours. Um, and when that, they'll keep you in there for three days. No teeth brush, no soap, no nothing. What? Uh-huh. Oh, hell no, bitch. If my breath started tasting like asshole, I'd be pissed. They don't give a fuck. Um, that was like the extent of my experience. But I fucking... I don't know anybody's number by heart except, oddly, my eighth grade and ninth grade girlfriend, Alyssa. We're still very close. And so I called her and I was like, Alyssa, I'm in jail. Figure something out. Call somebody, please. I got to get out of here. I was like, I have the money. I will pay you. Just please. Um, So we got out. But um, yeah. Your dad bailed you out, right? No. The first time, yes. But see... After the first time, my dad was like, if you ever get in trouble again, you're on your own. My dad said the same shit. Yeah. And and look, God, his timing, once it, his timing is impeccable. So I had, I was working this job, Renewal by Anderson. It was like a canvassing job. I was going door to door and selling windows. And um, I had actually gotten, at that period in time in my life, I had gotten the fattest check I'd ever seen. And it so happened that I because I got me and my boyfriend arrested, I felt responsible for paying for his portion also. So I paid for both of us. And it so happened to be like fifty dollars less than I made on that check. So I my entire check that I was about to go balling on, I fucking had to pick bail us out. It was so fucked. But <laughs> God ended up coming through because I prayed for months. I was like, God, let something happen to this this case where either it gets pushed until next year and I have time to save up or just something happens. And lo and behold, a few months later, I got a letter in the mail that said, because the store couldn't provide ample evidence, because I did it in an elevator. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> they said that the charges were dropped. <clears throat> but unfortunately, at that point, I had already went to jail and spent all that, like $900 to get us out. And um, it just wasn't cute and gorgeous, but... I don't have like any crazy experiences in jail, obviously, because I spent a total of like twenty six hours. Me as both well. Times, yeah, mm-hmm. I can totally relate. Yeah, girl, no, you was doing time. Yeah. You got a street cred out here. Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to a little break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like hot. This ring light makes my arms girl. My and titties shit. are hot Every, as fuck, and right it's now. like 67 degrees in my apartment. So there's like what is going on? I know it's always an ice box in here, but this ring this light, fucking ring light. Shout out to newer. Like what the fuck? I was getting my lashes done the other day, and I was like oh, dying. She had her ring light over. You. I was dying. I was actually dying, and then like being pregnant. So when you're laying on your back, and you know, it took her about three hours when you're laying on your back for that long. I don't know if Beatbop was sitting on something on my back. But it was not, I almost started crying. I'm dead ass serious. I was oh like, holy goodness. fucking shit, dude. So maybe next time that she comes into the lash, I'm going to say, can we just, can I lay on the couch? Because, Queen, I can't do this. Um, I, I, I just too fucking much. Um, mm. But this little beatbot booty bunny needs to hurry up because I'm fucking, I'm exhausted, dude. When, I, when we go to the doctor on Friday, they better say, he'll, he'll be here soon, Queen. Because I'm fucking tired. Um, but anyways... 
enough about the the jail stories. So hopefully, you know, maybe people won't want to know anything else because I get we no. get that I get that every day. They're like, can we have more prison experience? I'm like, girl, I share that all the time. Like, yeah, but see, this is the first time you've like given detailed experiences. That's what that's what we want. Like even me, like I'm over here intrigued because I'm I haven't heard these nitty gritty. Like you told me before that bitches were like naked, and I was like, okay, period. But like. I never heard. Extent, yeah, yeah, no. So, like, I'm sure you have so many more crazy experiences in jail. Oh, for sure. It's, What's the nastiest thing you saw there? Um, in all times, jail, prison, everything. A girl pooping on the floor every day. Every day. Uh huh. For like oh, for like a week straight. Better put a cork in her hole. Because she was just pissed off at everybody and wanted to poop on the floor. Was she not getting like time added? Um, no, but when we found out it was her, she got in trouble. She was doing it because she didn't get store and everybody was getting store and she wanted our store to be taken. So she would shit. Why her. was she not getting store? She, nobody put money on her books. She well, just, I'm sorry about yeah. it, queen. Yeah. So she would just shit on the floor every day. She and could then, have just stole your ramen noodles though. And then we figured out who it was and I went off on her. Everybody, nobody, everybody was like, oh, we're just going to tell on her. But I told her she was a nasty bitch. I mean, she literally has kids. You have a whole, you have whole children at home and you're shitting in the floor at prison. What kind of example is that? That's embarrassing, Queen. Right, ew. Um, Any um, crazy lesbian experiences? What do you mean, with me? Anyone try you up? I mean. They want that pussy? I think I had, well, I wouldn't even consider it a girlfriend. We just were like, yeah, you're cute, you're cute. But honestly, I was just fucking bored. Do I look, do I, do you really see me being gay? No. Or liking girls. No. But for some reason, for some reason in prison, I thought this girl You were was, lonely. Some girl, I thought she was, you know, cute or something. You know what I'm saying? She was talking to me, girl. I was like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was, my skin, oh, bitch. And then I was thinking, I was like, God, what's going on? Am I bored? Anyways, we ended up like getting into a huge argument. And so that just never worked it's out. It's over. Yeah. And so like, I'm just, I'm not gay. I'm just, I can't. I'm just not. So it just didn't work out for me. But everybody else. Was fucking in the bathroom. Oh, absolutely they were. Oh, my God. They were. Mm. Everybody wow. everybody was gay in there. If you came in straight, you're leaving gay. I'm serious. I am dead ass serious. Holy mm. fuck. Yeah. It's just how it is. For me, I tried it and it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I respect your open mindedness. Mm -hmm. y y YOLO. You got to try everything at least once. But I mean, I didn't do it. Like we didn't like do anything or nothing like that. Oh. It was just like a ha ha he who we kissed or whatever. But it just wasn't for me. I was like, no, me and clam. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't okay. like you. And um, I need a big dick in my life. Well, I, I didn't say all that, but <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. Um, but yeah, that was an experience. Good thing I was only there eight months. Good thing you were only in there for like a day. Oh yeah, girl. And I think that sums up this week's episode. We really did that. We really did, per. Make sure y'all rate, review, and subscribe. And turn, turn on, on the yep. Yes, ma'am. Turn, turn them on notifications on. on, honey. And thank y'all for listening. We love y'all. <laughs> <laughs>